All right, so what we're going to do today, we're going to actually try a uh, prototype, a, an asymmetrical uh, balloon catheter uh, extractor of, of foreign bodies. This, this is made by a company called Marmed, and we actually um, have a volunteer who's going to let us try it. You're going to take this jelly bean, you're going to put it up your nose, and then we're going to try the, this extractor. Uh, for the advancement extractor. of science, of course. What's that? For the advancement of science. Absolutely, for the advancement of, of science. Now, if that, jelly bean, if that jelly bean gets stuck there permanently, you know you're just starting your shift, right? Yeah. And so it's going to be, be, be a little bit awkward yeah. seeing patients. Probably. Yeah. Especially if one has this complaint. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and try it and see what happens. And what I'm going to, and I want you to tell us how much discomfort you're having. Okay. I think I'll go medial first, all okay. right? And if you're having a lot of discomfort here, you tell me. Just feel it, touch them. Okay. Okay. Ooh, that tickles. Okay. 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 I can feel it inflating. Yeah. Oh. There oh. we go. There we go. Come. Okay. We're gonna need a new jelly bean yeah. for, for trial <laughs> number two. Maybe but, clean that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So now you're gonna you're gonna put you're gonna uh, put us um, another jelly bean in. Yeah. This is an orange one. Okay, Good. all right. So now this time the, the, it's it's a symmetrical balloon. So we're gonna go ahead and put that up there and just see if that makes a difference. So yeah, not really much. No pain, just a little strange. Okay, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. There we go. Okay, all right. So. Um, all right, so let's let's then go ahead and tr uh, we'll redo the other one now. We got trial number two. It's kind of an asymmetric mm -hmm. uh, balloon there. So get it up there good enough. So, okay, that's, that's yeah, not too far. Go, yeah. that's, okay, that's as far as it's going to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the balloon blows up on the left ear, so we're going to kind of go in there and we're going to slide it up here. Try and make it not sneeze. Blow up the balloon. Bring it out. Yeah. Oh. So it slipped. Yeah. So so. Yeah. So well, that helps. That helps because I think it actually is better to have it because if it slips off this this um, unilateral balloon, then it doesn't come out. Mm -hmm. So it's not coming out. You're gonna have to work your whole shift with this <laughs> nice. yeah, okay. hanging out there like that. Yeah. No, we'll get it out. We'll get it out. <laughs> but but that's good. Now 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 it's kind of proved my what I was kind of curious about. There we go. We got it. Okay. Good. So a little bit more difficult with the asymmetric. It, it is. All right, Sam. So how uncomfortable was it that, uh, when we were putting the uh, balloon catheters up your nose? It really wasn't very uncomfortable at all. It just kind of tickled a little bit. Um, okay. And then I could feel it slip when we used the, the um, asymmetric, asymmetric balloon catheter. Balloon. The symmetric okay. definitely felt like you it feel had a better slipped grip off, on the yeah. object. Yeah. And with a with a strangely shaped object, one that's not just round. It, I imagine it would be even more difficult with an asymmetrically shaped balloon. But okay, good. Right. I appreciate you making the sacrifice yeah. for uh, no problem. science. No problem.